So uh, the, at what price did the shopkeeper sell a refrigerator? Remember that profit um, equals the cost of the sale, you know, what, what you actually sold it for, uh, minus whatever it cost you to get the thing, just in, in the most basic sense. So uh, in order to find this, the sale cost, we need the profit and the cost. Statement 1 tells us that the gross profit was 20% of the price at which the uh, shopkeeper sold it. So this tells us that uh, profit equals uh, 0.2s, or that cost conversely equals 0.8s. So the profit is 20% of the sale price, the cost is 80% of the sale price. The two add together to be um, the sale price. But that's not enough because we don't have any numbers. So statement one, uh, definitely not sufficient, and we can also cross out D. Statement two tells us the price at which the shopkeeper sold the refrigerator was $60 more than the shopkeeper's cost. So this tells us uh, that the sale price equaled the cost plus 60. <clears throat> so we sold it for 60 more. Uh, that also means that that's basically the, um, uh, the profit. The profit equals... 60 because uh, the shopkeeper sold it for 60 more than he bought it for. Uh, but that's not what we're after. We're actually what uh, actually after what S is equal to, and so this is not sufficient to get us there. We cross off B. Um, when we combine the two statements, though, we have two linear equations with multiple uh, variables, and we actually only need uh, a couple equations, this one and uh, this one. We don't actually need to involve the cost at all, so uh, we know that 0.2 of the sales price equals 60, and from there we can solve for s by dividing both sides by 0.2. So in conjunction, the two statements are sufficient, and it's answer choice C.